Welcome to Child Care Licensing's Independent Training Series. This online training is an additional required topic. My name is Kat Martinez and I'm a trainer with Child Care Licensing. This training is about seven minutes long. Let's begin. This topic is Principles of Child Growth and Development, including Brain Development. The main areas of development include physical, social, emotional, cognitive, and language. Physical development includes physical changes in the body, generally occurs in a predictable sequence. It includes both gross and fine motor skills. Gross includes jumping, skipping, leaping, galloping, and fine would be things like picking up small objects and holding a crayon. Social, learning to relate to others, including sharing, playing, encouraging, and helping. Emotional, awareness of self and the ability to express feelings, including identifying and expressing emotions and understanding the feelings of others. Cognitive, processes used to gain knowledge, including thinking, problem solving, and evaluating. Language, the ways in which a person understands and communicates, including, but not limited to, spoken words, including talking, listening, singing, writing, and responding. 90% of brain growth happens before kindergarten. At birth, the average baby's brain is about a quarter of the size of the average adult brain. Incredibly, it doubles in size in the first year. It keeps growing to about 80% of adult size by age three and 90% nearly full grown by age five. So again, the most rapid stage of development is the first three years of life. Neurons, specialized nerve cells, are present in the brain at birth but have not developed connections or synapses. These connections are formed as children interact with the world through their senses and shape the way the child will think, feel, behave, or learn in the future. It's crucial that children have opportunities for brain development through interaction and stimulation. Cortisol is a stress hormone that when released in incorrect levels over time, it inhibits healthy development. Chronically elevated cortisol in infants are shown to be associated with permanent brain changes that lead to elevated responses to stress throughout life, such as higher blood pressure and heart rate. High levels of cortisol can wear down the brain's ability to function properly. According to several studies, chronic stress impairs brain function in multiple ways. It can disrupt synapse regulation resulting in the loss of sociability and the avoidance of interactions with others. There are many different types of stress. The first is brief increases in heart rate, mild elevations in stress hormone levels. This might be caused from the first day of school, getting a shot or even being told no. This level of stress is not harmful to the child and can even help build resiliency. The next level is more serious, temporary stress responses buffered by supportive relationships. This might include the loss of a loved one, a natural disaster, or a frightening injury. The third type is prolonged activation of stress response systems in the absence of protective relationships. This might be abuse, neglect, or other traumatic experiences without adequate adult support. There are windows of development for each child. Vision, birth to six is where the most growth can happen. Motor development, both, both gross and fine motor, is prenatal to eight years old. That is the largest window of development. Emotional control is birth to three. Vocabulary and speech, birth to three. That's why it's so crucial that little babies zero to three are talked to and sung to. Math and logic is one to four. That's where they're problem solving. They're learning the same and different and learning to sort. It's crucial children have opportunities during those windows of development. Without opportunities during those windows, they may not reach their full potential. Serve in return. 
It's, a fundament, it's fundamental to the wiring of the brain. Caregivers who give attention, respond, and interact with the child are literally building the child's brain. It's crucial to talk, sing, read, and play with young children from the day they're born. A child's relationships with the adults in their life are the most important influences on their brain development. Loving relationships with responsive, dependable adults are essential to a child's healthy development. These relationships begin at home with parents and family, but also include child care providers, teachers, and other members of the community. From birth, young children serve up invitations to engage with their parents and caregivers. Infants do it by cooing, smiling, and crying. Toddlers communicate their needs and interests more directly. Each of these little invitations is an opportunity for their caregiver to be responsive to the child's needs. Responsiveness builds trust. Thank you for completing this online training. If you have questions, please reach out to Kat Martinez, that's me, or Charlotte Woodward, and have a great day.